guys and welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now on this episode, a couple of things are happening. We're gonna go pick something up in a little bit. Wow, my hands look really dirty. And um, right now we're at the trailer and we're gonna be picking up my Mac tie downs um, for the Jeep. And I'm gonna be showing you our PJ buggy trailer or buggy hauler and what we did to that trailer we did a little couple of modifications and how i tie dye mischief maker so let's get to it Okay, did not find the mech straps in the trailer, which means they are back at the shop, but I did pick these up. Uh, uh, I did pick our hats up, which is kind of cool because we do love our hats and um, I'm going to be hitting the road on Monday, so I need to switch up my hat game and not just wear a mischief maker hat although I do absolutely love it obviously but I don't want that to get super crazy dirty so now we're gonna head over and pick something up all right so we picked that second thing up which is let me grab Ta we now have mischief maker stickers people I'm so so excited with the way that these turned out and of course DH graphics did this for me so I will put in the link below how you can get yours um, I'm pretty freaking excited about it the only reason why I got these done is because you guys keep asking for mischief maker stickers and you guys have been asking me for quite some time now so pick them up ready to rumble we're gonna head back right now and i'm gonna show you guys how i tie mischief maker down onto my trailer so let's get going here let's get to it so here we have obviously mischief maker up on the pj buggy hauler and this was the first trailer that we got for mischief maker about two years ago now we've done a couple of mods onto the trailer that i'm going to talk you through and show you um it was just to make our lives a little easier more so mine for our my first big voyage across the country by myself whilst Walter was working. And um, yeah, let's do a quick walk around first and then uh, I'm gonna show you the trailer and then I'm gonna show you how I attach this little one, this little lightweight to the trailer when we are hauling it from state to state. I am outside on the street. There is outdoor noise. People are doing some yard work. It is a little windy, so bear with me if the sound is a little weird, but it should be okay. So let's start with the trailer itself. As I said, we've done a couple of mods and uh, let me show you exactly what they are. Here we actually had Leo from TNT Monster Truck weld some D-rings onto the trailer. Now you can see on the rear, we have colored them green. I'll tell you in a minute why. 
And as you can see on the front here, they are colored pink. Okay, so the reason for the D-rings being colored differently in pink and green is because we use these we use the max straps and we have a set of green, obviously for the rear, and then we have a set of pink, which are for the front. And they are different sizes. You can get the straps in different sizes. You can get them in short, you can get them in longer. So we just did that to make it a little tiny bit easier for my first voyage of traveling from New York over to Moab is solo. And uh, we actually did one more thing at the front. So let me take you to the front and show you what we did there. So this right here is called a lashing winch and it is way easier than using the ratchet straps. What you need for this is you need a socket and that is going to tighten it up. All you do is thread the strap through. Then you're going to tighten it right here with a socket. And this is the lock right here. So to unlock and be able to take that strap out of there or loosen it all you need to do is press on this and it releases everything. Ooh, fighting with the wind a little today. But um, now I want to show you guys where I strap Mischief Maker down and the reasons why. So let me flip you guys around. So we're going to start with the rear. Ugh, let me get my booty down here. First of all, always wear gloves because you are definitely going to get dirty at some point. Unfortunately, I don't have mine here with me, so I will get dirty hands. So here we have the straps right here. Now, a lot of people put them sort of around here at this point here. Again, everyone is completely different. Some people pop them around right here see if I can get you over there right here but I like to put mine here now the reason being I cross mine at the back and I like mine to sit you'll see when I actually <laughs> when I actually put it on but this actually sits right here pretty nicely comes across here this crosses over nothing touches nothing rubs so this is the reason why I put the driver one here is that there's nothing here that can be meddled with nothing can be pinched these can't rub against this and be cut easily at all so that is the reason why it is there and then also this kind of looks very close to this but this actually sits up here when it's crossed Again, I like to keep mine away from any of this area because it can sometimes get jammed in there and uh, cut and that is definitely not what you are looking for. So I like to keep it around the axle, just a nice little hug. So let's go ahead and just strap these on and tighten them with the ratchet strap just so that you can see how I do that. Now again, I do normally use the max straps, but they are at the shop. So we are going to be using some of the shop ones that we have here. It's the same thing. Strap is a strap, but I will say the max straps are phenomenal. The customer service even better. That's why I use them. Um, and they are super heavy duty. So I never ever worry i will leave their website in the link below guys i'm not getting paid to say any of this by the way i just want to share my experience and my products that i use with mischief maker and on mischief maker with you guys
So as you can see, pretty nice, pretty nifty. Nothing rubbing, nothing touching here. Super tight. Um, that is pretty much about it. Something that many people, including myself, forget is that some of the ratchet straps do sit like this when you're finished with them. So just remember to just pull this and pop it down and hear that click. That way you know it's nice and secure. Now, what do you do with all of this? Wow, a lot of people have zip ties. I have a Velcro strap that goes around, which is perfect, but what do you do if you don't have any of those? I'm gonna show you something that I learned from, again, Bleeping Rose. That's Jeremy Rose from Bleeping Jeep. And uh, we use it all the time, especially when we're using other people's stuff. So let me show you that little trick. All right, it's pretty simple. Grab your strap. You're gonna make circles. Just keep making them. Oh yeah. Perfect. So you're gonna get to about here, okay? You're gonna take this, you're gonna thread it through the middle, okay? And then you're going to take this and you're gonna thread it through again and pull. There we have it. Pretty easy, nifty little trick. Now, obviously it's supposed to be a little closer so it doesn't hang off, but if it hangs off, it's not gonna hit the ground. And believe it or not, this does not come undone. So that was definitely probably one of the niftiest little tricks I've learned when loading and strapping your Jeep down onto the trailer. So, let me just quickly do the other side. Okay, so as I said a little bit before, we like to keep the straps straight on at the front. So personally, I think that you should have them crisscrossed somewhere and straight somewhere else. And this just makes the most sense to me. Again, let me just say, everyone has their own way. Whatever works for you, it works for you. But let's take a look at where I strap everything on at the front. So, I like to put mine right in here. Now, you can see it's not really in the way. It's kind of snug there. It is not going to rub or pinch anything because there's nothing to rub or pinch there. So that is the reason why I have mine here. A lot of people put theirs right here. My arm is right there, so that doesn't really work for me. And let's check out this side. So it's the same right here. I don't want to put it here. It just doesn't sit well with me again. Also, the angle is a little off if you put it right there. So again, on the outer part, right here, nowhere near anything else, you are good to go. Right, I guess the only other thing I want to point out and what we do is when we are pulling this ratchet strap right here, we want to make sure that the strap actually comes around one and a half times at least, just so that we know it's never going to pull through or nothing's going to happen there. I don't know if other people do that, but that is just what we like to do. So there you have it, guys. Let's take a look at Mischief Maker strapped down and ready to go and hit the road. So 
so that is it for this episode. I really enjoyed doing that and showing you our process of doing it. Now, I've, as I've said all the way through this video, there's no right and wrong way to do it. Everyone has their own way. Whatever works for you is great, but this way definitely works for us. We've never had any trouble. And uh, just make sure that you put that parking brake on in the Jeep. So guys, if you are enjoying this channel, please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, share, leave a comment, and don't forget that little notification bell. All right, I think it's time for some food. So until tomorrow, guys, I will see you later.